Tonight, a show of support outside of the Boston Hospital where the officers were taken after the shootout. And first responders wishing the wounded officers a speedy recovery. Our Julie McDonald's live outside Boston Medical Center right now. And Julie, that was quite a scene moments ago when the officer was released. Yeah, Lisa and David, that moving show of support really just about an hour ago here. Cruisers filling the street and police officers filling that sidewalk there. It's really emotional when you think about how tonight could feel for our city and police department if circumstances were just slightly different. It was a picture of camaraderie and courage outside Boston Medical Center Tuesday night. Dozens of Boston police officers stood in salute as one of their own was wheeled out of the trauma center, having survived an afternoon shootout. Applause broke out as the man was helped into a car and escorted home. When you see something uh, like what happened today, it really does drive home. Uh, the sacrifice that these men and women make. Two other Boston police officers will also return home to their families after suffering gunshot wounds during the all-day Dorchester standoff. Mayor-elect Michelle Wu, who visited the hospital, tweeted her prayers are with the injured officers, their loved ones, and those in our community who have had to face violence and trauma in our neighborhoods in the past week. Just Saturday night, another Boston police officer was stabbed in the neck while responding to a domestic violence call on Ingleside Street in Dorchester. The suspect in that incident was also shot and killed. Davis explains these dangerous life and death scenarios take a toll. The officers suffer from it. The amount of post-traumatic stress that occurs after an incident like this is palpable. None of them wants to use lethal force, but sometimes it's the only option. And the department, of course, being really protective of these three officers' identities. No other updates have been released on their conditions, nor any details about how long any of these officers has been serving Boston police. Live outside BMC, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News.